Hi guys, this is Daphne O back with another planner video, but I'm also going to show you guys how you can use the hyperlinks within the Samson Links app as well. If you use Samson Links app for um, digital journaling, journaling or digital planning or anything like that. Right here, I'm just showing you how to upload your planner, it, you know, wherever you purchase it from, whoever you purchase it from. I have planners on Etsy, by the way, I'll leave it in the description box below. But anybody that you purchase um, planners from and you want to know how and you use it in your Samson Links app, and you want to know how to use the hyperlinks um, i'm gonna show you how to do that in this video right here right now i'm just uploading the um planner to the samson notes app this planner right here is free on my website kbbooksprecents.com um i'll leave it in the description box below it's for free you can download it for your personal use it doesn't look quite like this on my website because i did some editing to this um planner but it's basically this is how it looks pretty much other than a few things that i edited I might re-upload this one as the revised version because I like this one better. That's why I, you know, edit it. But I do free, uh, free planners uh, monthly, and I upload them to my website, and they're free for you guys to download if you like. I also sell them on Etsy as well, so um, you can head over to my Etsy shop and check out what I have. I'll leave that in the description box below. This right here, I was just showing you that most of the time when you open up your planner, it always it usually be on the keyboard mode, little keyboard mode, and in order to use the hyperlinks, you have to put it in reading mode, which is at the top. And you see, I got it flashing up there because that's the most important thing. The hyperlinks are not going to work unless you have it in reading mode. And so I have hyperlinks in this planner over here to the side. And once I click on it, see, it takes you to the monthly page. Then at the top, you can go back to the index or the cover pages, which I call it. And it takes you back to the cover page. Now I'm going to click on one of the weekly page and it takes you to the weekly page. And I'm going to click back up there to the top to the cover page to go back to the cover page. And then I'm going to click on the gratitude page and it takes me to the gratitude page. But you have to have it in reading mode in order for it to work. Now, once you want to, once <laughs> I can't even tell, once you want to start planning in your planner, then you take it out to reading mode and, you know, you choose whatever pen you want. And um, you can start your planning. I'm going to hush now and just let the rest of the video speak for itself because this is just um, me showing you how I set my planner up for uh, the month. And like I said, if you like this planner, you can head over to um, my website and download it for free. I did block out my goals right here because these were personal. Um, I don't mind sharing certain goals, but some goals that are personal that I want to keep to myself, I block those out. But that's, that's what the little black <laughs> box is. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you at the end of it.
hopefully I made it to the end of the video. If you're new to my channel, thanks for being here. Please hit that like and subscribe button for me. It would really, really help me out. All my returning subscribers, I appreciate you as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.